Good day, One Watt Fly Squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Ho Chi Minh Airport Domestic Terminal, and today I'm flying Bamboo Airways 787 9 Economy to Hanoi. Now let's go in and check out uh, Bamboo Airways domestic experience. Vietnam is one of the few countries in Asia that doesn't require you to be fully vaccinated to visit the country, so traveling here is once again hustling and bustling. The air route between Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi is the busiest in Vietnam, with up to 49 daily flights one way. I have a first status with Bamboo Airways, so I can use the priority check-in and later have the lounge access. So I just checked in using the priority lane, it was really fast and easy. Uh, there was a person there helping me with uh, putting my suitcase on the belt, which was nice. And then the check-in agent was asking me, whether I wanted a window or aisle. I said window, but that's a bit weird because I've already pre-selected my seat online. So I think she may have upgraded me to premium economy. I got 31A, I'm not sure. I couldn't find any any information or seat map online. So I guess I'll uh, find out when I board the plane. So I just passed through the VIP security. I guess for us, it's more the commonly known priority security um, pretty straightforward it's a bit like the TSA in America um, they're not too fussed about you putting your liquid in a plastic transparent bag but they require you to take off your shoes the air side of terminal 1 is full of people there's plenty of seats available however you might be having trouble finding one with a charging outlet there's also a huge food court here for those with lounge access there's the Vietnam Airlines Lounge, and for those flying other airlines, including Bamboo, look for your Bamboo Girl, and she'll guide you to the Le Saigonese Lounge. And again, today I have access with my first status. Despite this being a relatively small lounge, there's plenty of different types of sitting options, including this in the dining area. You can find chairs that are made up of bamboo, and more comfy seats and tables in the quiet zone. A full buffet is available here and I'll show you what they offer here. It's mainly Asian food with a bit of Western options. You have great choices of protein, vegetables and rice. Perhaps the coolest food option they've got here is make your own congee. I will pair my breakfast with this chili and sauvignon blanc. For my plate of food I got a bit of everything. It was a quite delightful meal. Later I had some Lipton black tea and some watermelon to wash down my lunch. I really like this part of the lounge where they have plants in the middle and birds chirping sound. There's also plenty of charging outlets here. There's no shower room in this lounge but they have this cool bidet toilet and so many cot hooks. It's soon time to board the plane, so it's time to leave, and luckily the crowds only come into the lounge when I leave. So here's our aircraft today. It was delivered to Bamboo Airways just before COVID. It's also their first 787. It's a two-year-old Bamboo Airways Boeing 787-9, Victor November, Alpha 819. It's got the name Ha Long Bay, which will be featured in the vlog towards the end of this video. Look at that long line. Thankfully with my first status, I can skip the queue and use the priority. The boarding gate agent advised us that there'll be a slight delay, so we can wait here and she'll let us know when we can board. Uh, it's now we're standing right over there, not boarding yet, so you okay. want to come and wait. Yes, sure, no worries. <laughs> A bit closer Thank to the plane. Thank you. Welcome on board Bamboo Airways 787. 
Here's my seat today, 31A, and it's indeed premium economy. Premium economy is laid out in a 232 configuration across three rows. There's plenty of space between your seat and the bulkhead. I'm so happy I got upgraded, and here's our gorgeous wing and engine view today. I'll now go through the seat features with you. So leg room you get plenty. You've got a seat pocket there with two pouches for greater storage. Here you can find your tray table. Simply pull on that little thing and your tray table will lift up graciously. The table is folded in half so you can open it doubling the size. You can lift this panel up and place your phone there and you can watch your own movies and stuff in a comfortable angle. Every seat has a TV. For your bulkhead seat, it's located underneath your armrest. It's a large touchscreen TV. You can find a remote controller here. Seat control buttons for your leg rest and armrest. Here you'll find a universal power socket, headphone jack and USB port. And a bit more storage here. Your headrest is large, soft and adjustable. Welcome to Bamboo Airways 787 Business Class Slash Premium Economy Lavatory. Very, very spacious here. And oh my god, we got a window. So cool. Yep, 
very spacious as I said. Plenty of leg room. And we got coat hooks. Now I'm back at my seat, gonna recline and have my leg rest extended. And now it's time for refreshment. Everybody gets a band me. This is perhaps one of the ugliest banh mi I've ever seen, but it's still quite delicious regardless. It's quite funny to see that Vietnamese passengers just chuck it in the seat pocket, they don't even want to have a bite. A bottle of water follows later, there's no drinks option. For your in-flight entertainment, there's plenty of movies to choose from, however, currently on Bamboo Airways, they don't provide you with a headphone if you're in economy class. You'll have to bring your own, preferably with two pins. Your in-flight map is interactive and very HD. The cabin crew have locked the window brightness for the entire flight, and here I am continue reading my book. Most passengers are sleeping on this short two-hour flight up to the capital, Hanoi. Although I don't really like how the cabin crew locked the window brightness, I really appreciate how they gave us this beautiful mood lighting. Now we're descending into the capital Hanoi, let's quickly conclude this trip report with Bamboo Airways right here, right now. So our journey today started at Terminal 1, Ho Chi Minh Airport. There was priority check-in thanks to my first status, and later I got the VIP security screening, lounge access, and of course priority boarding. If you have a status with any airline, and you're flying bamboo soon, I recommend you doing a status match, they'll 99% approve it, and you get a new status with bamboo for about a year. Bamboo Airways doesn't have their own lounge in the domestic terminal of Ho Chi Minh, but the third party that they use, the last Saigonese lounge, is still pretty cool. I love how they do offer alcoholic beverages during the morning time. The only drawback, I guess, is that they don't have shower facilities. Later boarding the plane, the gate agent was really nice. She let us sit down and notified us again once we were ready to board. I was really delighted to find that I got upgraded to 31A, a premium seat. Bamboo Airways doesn't sell premium economy on their domestic flights, so if you're flying economy, you can choose premium seats at a cost. I was actually quite surprised today that I was even flying on a 787. Originally when I booked this flight, it was going to be operated by an Airbus A321. The service on board was impeccable. The grooming standards of the cabin crew were excellent, and they were very nice and polite throughout the whole flight. The banh mi that they served was okay, at least for a foreigner. This domestic flight was just over two hour long. I would really appreciate if they could serve a bit more beverages, including juice and soft drinks, and also if they could provide headphones as well for economy passengers. I know many people bring their own today, but not many people have the two-pin headphone that they steal from other airlines. So you'll end up with just one side of your earphone or headphone working. So overall, it was a really good flight with Bamboo Airways. For this trip, I booked direct with Bamboo Airways and paid $49. US Flying within Vietnam is really, really cheap. The $49 I paid already included your meals on board and also baggage allowance. So I guess that's it for the conclusion today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you're interested in a Hanoi slash Halong Bay vlog, keep watching until after disembarking. If you're new to my channel, I upload a new trip report like this one every Thursday, 12 p.m. Hong Kong time. That's 11 a.m. Thursday in Vietnam. I also do hotel videos every Monday, 12 p.m. Hong Kong time. So be sure to click that subscribe and bell buttons so every Thursday and Monday when I upload, you'll get notified right away. You can keep in touch with me on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. If you want to make direct impact on funding my flights, you can do so on Patreon or PayPal. Patreon is a monthly or yearly subscription. PayPal is one off. You can do it anytime you want. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Now enjoy the approach and landing into Hanoi and the vlog following. See you next Thursday. Bye bye.
So welcome to my Hanoi vlog. I'm staying at the Hilton Garden Inn. I've already uploaded this hotel video. You can find the link in the description. Oops. Throughout my entire week in Vietnam, he was the only Australian I encountered. And likewise, I was the only Australian resident that he encountered. On your phone? Uh, yeah, got in video too. Americans. You got the lazy people back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're coming, are they? All right. Unfortunately, this beautiful place has been ruined by some rubbish. We decided to do some cleanup.
To start a nuclear war right now, we would say. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Come on, Jordan. Stay. I feel like I'm just going to have so many photos. After getting back to my hotel, a local friend brought me to some local cuisine. Thanks again for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.